Well, I am the designer and manufacturer of the Tavern Puzzles and have been so since 1982 when we first started making Tavern Puzzles. Uh, they began as uh, projects that I was making in my traditional blacksmith uh, shop and the puzzles that I started making were mostly reproductions of ones that were used to train apprentice blacksmiths in a forging exercise. Tavern puzzles are uh, disentanglement puzzles, which means that there's a, a design that has one portion or more uh, that will separate from the body of the puzzle. So my first uh, puzzles were more uh, reproductions of artifacts, and then over the years I've taken the liberties to what make those work and have designed many more designs around that type of function to create uh, up now up to 38 designs. So the process is basically taking the raw material, cutting it to a very specific length, which is what makes all the pieces work out, and then going through a series of bends, mostly circles. Uh, that's what my designs are mostly based around. That process is done uh, with both air benders and hand benders and hydraulic benders so that we get a basic shape. And then after the shapes are made, then the uh, pieces are then assembled by opening and closing rings and assembling the, the parts. And then the last step is to put it in a vibratory tumbler where it takes off the outside edges and uh, cleans them up so that they're ready for human play. They're uh, throw back to something that was from long ago. Um, I find that the idea behind the, the puzzles has uh, been around for thousands of years. It's not just something that I've come up with. Tavern Puzzles is unique for a variety of reasons. It's a handmade item that's made in America. It's using a historical root of blacksmithing, but incorporating modern manufacturing techniques. It's a unique gift item that people will give. You know, we have a lot of collectors. Um, so we have a unique history, but also a unique customer base. I learned about tavern puzzles, oh, probably close to 20 years ago. My husband and I were at a friend's house and hanging on the wall all of these steel contraptions. So we asked what they were and learned that they were tavern puzzles. I became fascinated with them. I thought they were, they were just terrific. It was a time where the kids were kind of playing with just getting into computers and, you know, the usual Christmas toys of plastic stuff that you knew was going to fade out after a while, but I, I thought that these puzzles would be something, you know, that maybe be a family tradition or kind of get passed on even as a family heirloom. Really now I'm working on my, my third generation. Uh, the first kids that I sold puzzles to are now grandparents. So uh, there's a lot of people that have had them in their family for as long as they can remember, which I think is a thing I enjoy the most about what I've been doing. 